Hey folks, how's it going? So today we're looking at the Hegel H120 in black on top here and the Hegel H190 in the white bottom here. Now, if this is our first time meeting, nice to meet you, my name is Jay. And on this channel, we do speaker reviews, amplifier reviews, audio component reviews, and most importantly, music and audio is our passion on this channel. So if you share the similar type of passion, if you like music, if you like audio, then please do consider subscribing because I would love to have you around in the comment section below. And also, if you like the video, it helps us a lot. So if you like the video, I appreciate that. Now, if this is not our first time meeting, if we met before, uh, you've seen me around, then thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for being a supporter. Now, before I go further into this video about the Hegel integrated amplifiers, which I love, um, I wanted to share with you um, about Skillshare. So what Skillshare is, is, is a website where you can go and learn about different topics in a video format, just like this one. And I used Skillshare before to learn my uh, photography and videography uh, skills. And I know a lot of people who uh, went from, you know, doing this as a side gig to professional. I know a lot of people who now works for Canon as a freelancer. And I know a lot of people that works, uh, you know, on their side projects after using Skillshare to pursue their side passions. So Skillshare is definitely up there in terms of making people's passion possible. So I thought it was a perfect time to introduce Skillshare to my channel because a lot of people, uh, including some of my friends, don't know what to do in these situations. They're staying home. They don't have anything to do. So I think it's a perfect time to pursue your side passions in these times. And um, these days I've been learning about speaker designs and music production on Skillshare to pursue my side uh, projects as well. So Skillshare is definitely um, helpful. So when Skillshare reached out, um, I was very excited. I knew about them. So I immediately said yes. Uh, they are sponsoring this video. So this means that 500 of my subscribers first to sign up in the link description below will be getting one month of free, free premium subscription. So I hope you guys take advantage of that. And also, you know, I believe the original subscription is $10 or less per month and I think it's definitely worth it for you to check it out and pursue your side passions. Now getting right down to the Hegel H120 and the Hegel H190, um, the Hegel products here is an all-in-one integrated. So it is a streamer, it is an amplifier, it's a pre-amplifier. So um, unless you're playing turntables, which all you, need to, all you need to do is add a phone stage if you want to do that, uh, it's a complete system. All you need is this, and a uh, working network and a pair of speakers and that's it. Now by network, if you're confused, um, if that scares you, uh, what I mean is basically your internet system. Just if you have internet, it will work. If you have a router, it will work. So all you do is you connect a ethernet cable to the ethernet port on the back of the Hegel H120, which should be coming out from your router, just like how you would connect it to a computer um, and that's it. And that's all you have to do. And then when you switch it to network, you'll see a little check mark, um, which indicates that it has been, you know, connected and you have a connection there. And then you go into either if you're using Android, UPnP software, or if you have uh, Apple devices, AirPlay. Now, for those of you that are confused and are like, you know, what is UPnP? Don't worry, I use Android. And so I'll walk you through it as well. Um, AirPlay is very simple if you're using Apple. It's AirPlay, I'm sure you're familiar with it. And you just play it right into the Hegel. Now, if you're using uh, UPnP, what you do is you have to choose a app that has uh, UPnP capabilities. So you go into your store, your um, Android store, and then you type in UPnP. And for example, I'm using Bubble UPnP. Some of them is free, some of them you have to pay a little bit. The ones that you pay uh, seems to work better because even though it's little money, they are receiving something to always improve upon the software. So that is what I recommend. Um, I'm personally using Bubble UPnP. I think it was like five bucks or something like that. Uh, very cheap. And so after you do that, you connect it to the Hegel H190 or the H120, whatever is connected. And then you have full access, you play through title, you log into your title. And from there on, it's very self-explanatory. Now, if you don't want to use the streaming capability in the Hegel H120 or the H190, then it does have analog inputs. It ha also has digital inputs. 
Uh, so it's very versatile. It also has uh, pre-outs on both units. Also, the H120 has a fixed output if you want to use it as just a source. So if you want to use it as just a streamer or as just a DAC, you can do that with the H190. On the H120, it doesn't have a fixed output. It only has a variable pre-out, which means that you can use it as a pre-amplifier, but not as you know, a full source unless you crank it up all the way into the higher volumes. Now, I do want to mention that if you have Apple TV, which I do, you can connect it to AirPlay with the Hegel devices. And that is very beneficial and very convenient. And it's great. So I suggest you look into Hegel if you want to use it that way with your Apple TV. Now it comes with a Hegel remote, which is a black aluminum, uh, beautiful, beautiful heavy remote. But that's only, you know, it, you can do volume and you can switch inputs and stuff like that. But if you're using it and you're, you have it connected to your UPnP or AirPlay, then now volume is, you know, controllable on your device, your iPad, your phone, your computer, or whatever device you're using, you can control the volume on that to uh, adjust the volume on the screen over here on the Halo products. So the remote becomes a little bit less of a usage, if you so will. Now where the remote becomes handy is when you press the eco mode on the remote. And so what the eco mode is basically putting the units on standby instead of turning them off completely once you're done. And what that does is, first of all, it's very convenient because you don't have to turn on the unit again uh, on and off. And second, it keeps the amplifiers keep on running and electricity flowing so that they are on their top of their performance when you just play them instead of having to wake up uh, the amplifiers and wait for the warm up time. So let's talk about the DAC section or the digital section on the uh, devices here. So the Hegel H120 and the H190 both uses the same AKM DAC chip. I opened it up and took a look and it was the AKM 4490EQ DAC chip on both of these units. Now the digital side uh, looks very similar, but there's subtle differences between the H120 and the H190. I'm not gonna go into too much of those details, but basically it is very similar when it comes to the DAC section. Now let's talk about the amplifier section. And so the Hegel H120 has the damping factor of 2000 and the Hegel H190 has a damping factor of 4000. Now that's a very high number. Now considering um, the, Hegel, the, the class D amplifier, a typical class D amplifier, which has very good uh, damping factor rating would be around 500 to 800. This is a lot, even 2000 is a lot. So what does that mean? So not to get too technical, uh, very simply, is ability to control the woofers, how fast it can control the woofers on your speakers. So that's why you see uh, class D amplifiers being used in subwoofers because it has ability to control woofers very well. So you're gonna have very good control of the woofers, obviously, with the damping factor of 2000, 4000 on the Hegel H190. Now in terms of power output, the Hegel H120 has a 75 watts per channel into 8 ohms and the Hegel H190 has a 150 watts into 8 ohms. Now the H120 has a smaller Toyota transformer than the uh, Hegel H190, but you can also see that the H120 has a smaller Toyota transformer that is uh, practically dedicated to the digital section uh, from what I can see. Both units have very nice layout and also it has a heat sink to dissipate heat uh, in this case because these are, from my understanding, uh, class A, B designs. Now I've seen a lot of people say that the Hegel is a class D amplifier, it's not. Um, I believe it's class A, B from what I can tell, again. But um, the reason I think it's unclear is because Hegel doesn't really put it out there. And according to Hegel, and according to the stuff that I read online, it seems that they have this as like a new technology and it's not exactly class A, B or class A or class D, but it's a hybrid between a class A and a class A, B and they call it the best of both worlds. So I leave that to your own accord. Um, I think class A, B is just perfectly fine to classify. Now Hegel has something called a sound engine 2 technology on these devices that they make. 
And so what Sound Engine 2 technology is, is basically, it's like a noise canceling headphone. It works in a very similar way. So it takes the input of these, the, it takes the input signal and the output signal of the amplifier and it compares it and takes out all the noise and sends it, sends the, sends the output to the speakers. So what you end up getting is basically a cancellation of any type of noise that would be uh, going into your speakers. So it works in a very similar way as a noise canceling headphone. So for example, noise canceling headphones, how it works is it has a microphone and then it picks up the outside noise and cancel it in a reverse phase, uh, just like how the Hegel does it, and it cancels out the outside noise. What you end up getting is a very black background and a very quiet environment uh, within your music. So there's less distortion and there is less noise for it, for it to be intruded. Now, some of you that know a little bit more about amplifiers will say, well, that's nothing new. Uh, we've seen it before and you're absolutely correct. You've seen it before and I've seen it before. Uh, we've seen amplifiers do this, but the way I like to see it is, um, you know, for example, with noise canceling headphones, we see a lot of companies make noise canceling headphones, but we go to certain ones like Sony, Bose or um, whatnot, because we know that they do it the best. There's a lot of Chinese manufacturers that make noise canceling headphones for like $50 or less, but we don't go to those ones because even though it may work, it is not reliable and it may not work as well. So we definitely rely on certain brands to do certain technologies correctly. And Hegel does that perfectly. In fact, Hegel uh, has done 30 years of research into developing the sound engine technology where it's at today. And according to them, they spent over millions of dollars to develop this um, and improve upon the sound engine to technology. So they do it best and that's what they're known for. Now, in terms of sound, how does this all translate in terms of sound? Well, first of all, you're gonna get very dynamic sound. The bass, the grip, um, the definition in the bass is what defines Hegel. The mid-range is going to be soft and it's going to be relaxing and it's not gonna be shouting at you, but it's going to be like a holographic presentation, much like the ones that you would get from a tube amplifier. But it's not exactly like a tube amplifier. It's a little bit less holographic but nonetheless, it's still holographic for a solid state device. The background is going to be extremely quiet. The instrumentals are going to be excellent representation and tonality to it. And then overall, it's just going to be an easy going presentation and without hurting your ears and without any type of, type of fatigue, it's going to be a very easy recommendation, especially in the bass and the mid ranges. Now, when you get into the high frequencies, it's going to be depending on where you're coming from. Now, if you don't care too much about how bright a presentation is, the Hegel is perfect because it's not bright at all. In fact, to some of the people that are coming from a little bit more brighter presentation of an amplifier, um, you will find it that this amplifier is a little bit on the, uh, on the more rolled off side than these amplifiers. So it's going to be tad closed off on your top end but this can be all fixed with right pairing of your speakers. So for example, if you have Focals or if you have ELAC um, 407s, then those speakers are a lot more airy on the top end than other speakers. So you can pair it with the Hegel and had great success doing that. And you get a lot of air without any type of sibilance or brightness added to the chain. Now, when it comes to these overall sound characteristics, um, the H120 is going to be slightly more neutral and a little bit more cooler than the H190. The H190 is going to be a little bit more warmer in presentation, will have a little, little bit more gut to the sound than the H120. The H120 is going to sound a little bit more cleaner than the H190 in comparison, however. Now, putting this all together though, the Hegel has a house sound. So you're not deviating too much away from that. Whether you go with the H120 or the H190, the sound is going to be very similar. You're gonna get that Hegel presentation. So that's what I like about it. There's no surprises. It's not like one unit is bright and one unit is you know warm as hell. They're gonna be in the similar page. So they all have a similar house type sound. You just get 
better in terms of its dynamics, in terms of its capabilities um, when you go up in the line. It's not necessarily that you get a different sound, but a better sound and within that house sound of Hegel. So if you like Hegel and if you tried one product, the next upgrade is obvious with Hegel products. Now, how about sound stage, depth, and all that? Well, in terms of imaging, we've seen better. Um, the imaging is not the strongest point with Hegel products, especially when you compare it with the NAD M10. For example, we did that comparison, and I'll link it in the description below for you guys to check out. The NAD M10 had a better imaging capability. Um, in fact, when I compare it to other tube amplifiers like the Wilsonton, even the tube amplifier had better imaging. So the imaging is not going to be the strongest point with the Hegel. What you're gonna get is, however, um, a better sound stage. In fact, when you, when you even compare it with some of the tube amplifiers, the sound stage capability of the Hegel is much better. It stretches out of the room much better. Now, with this being said, it's, it may not be the most pinpoint imaging, but you're not losing anything in terms of its separation or resolution per se. It's not smeared, it's not uh, smudged in any way. And so it, if you want pinpoint imaging, like the sharpest sound, then that's not Hegel. But that's not what the Hegel is going for. It's not going for the sharpest sound, it's going for the most natural sound. And that's what the Hegels are known for. And that's what I believe it sounds like. It sounds natural. And even the most basic Hegel model um, is able to drive very difficult to, to drive speakers. And I don't know why that is. Um, maybe they are high current designs because of the Victoria transformer. Um, I can't tell you. But what you get out of these is a very high quality audiophile capacitors as well inside. You get four um, of the smaller ones on the H120, and you get six of the big ones on the H190. And that creates a lot of reservoir for um, potential driving of your speakers because capacitor is a lot like, you know, putting water in a bucket to fill your reservoir. Now talking about the headphone section, because that's what a lot of you guys have been asking me about. Now the headphone section is not gonna drive anything crazy. In fact, it's not gonna drive the HE6, high in HE6. It's not gonna drive anything that is very demanding. However, it will drive like Sennheiser um, H6, HD 600, 650, um, and it will drive most headphones practically very well. But what you can expect from the headphone output is very much like what you would get from a stereo presentation of the Hegel sound. Uh, you're going to get very good layering, you're going to get very good separation, you're going to get very good holographic soundstage out of your headphones when you use the output on the Hegel. And so that is practically what I can tell you about the headphone output. Now is this going to be enough to purchase it as just a headphone out amplifier? I don't think so. There is much better options when it comes to the price point of the Hegel products if you want to buy it as just a headphone amplifier. But if you want it as a desktop uh, solution and also want to use the headphone section, the headphone section is also a plus and it sounds very good. Now let's go over some of the pairings with the Hegel products because I've been getting a lot of questions regarding pairings. Now I'm not gonna go over all of them because there's just too many. Um, but one thing that I will assure you is that when I pair Hegel products with a lot of the speakers out there, it is usually a very good match. It's really hard to go wrong with the Hegel products. Um, so for example, Magnet Pants is a fantastic match with the Hegel products. In fact, I would say it's one of the best pro uh, products out there that can be matched with Magnet Pen uh, speakers. And so that's what I recommend. Um, the Bucard Audio S400 that I have in the background over here um, has been asked a lot. Now the Bucard S400 um, I played it with the 28 inch stand, which is what I recommend. And I'll link it in the description below. Uh, very inexpensive stand, but it's a perfect match with these speakers. Uh, you fill it with sand and it's perfectly damped and it's perfectly heavy and it just works perfectly with the uh, Bucard S400. I've seen very good success by adding the stand. But now getting into the amplifier, um, when I paired it with the H120, it sounded a little bit 
less lifeless than I would like it. But when I paired it with the H190, that's when it, when it really shined. With the H190, it had a lot, of, a lot of gut to the sound, had a lot of authority. Uh, again, without being bright whatsoever, it had a lot of um, life and dynamics to the sound. So with the S400 and the Hegel H190, I highly recommend it. Now, how about some of the Tekton products? Well, I had the Double Impact, the Pendragon, and the low reference speakers in here for review. And I paired them with the Hegel H120 and the H190. And all of them sounded fantastic with both units. Again, the H120 being a little bit more neutral and cooler, and the H190 having a little bit more gut to the sound and a little, bit, a little bit being more warmer in presentation. Now, Focal, same thing. Elax, same thing. Um, the Elac FS403, the 407, the Vela series that I had in here when paired up with the H120 and the H190 um, was very, very nice because without being bright, it had air to the sound, and it, I really like that. And so that's what you're going to get when you pair up a rather... Um, airy or a little bit more brighter presentation of a speaker to the Hegel products. It's not gonna force anything down uh, or roll it off on the top frequencies per se, but it's gonna take out any of the high frequency distortion or any type of bright presentation in the top end, leaving you with a lot of detail, but not as fatiguing as you would expect it from pairing it into a solid state. Kev speakers. Kef speakers work phenomenally well with the Hegel products as well. We've seen it with the Kef R3, um, and it works phenomenally. Um, it has a lot of gut to the sound as well. So there's not much complaint to go around. It really applies. Um, the Hegel sound signature applies to a lot of the speakers that you pair up with. So I definitely urge you to check it out. Um, the Hegel products are excellent. And so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.